While the Philadelphia Eagles have been committing Howie robbery all season, the Dallas Cowboys continue to go the cheap route. Now they want to bring in Jason Peters at left tackle. Well, guess what? I hope Jason Peters takes them for everything they got. Here and you know what? I love Jason Peters. I love Jason Peters. He's an Eagle legend, all right? And there's a chance he may end up in Dallas, and I hope he takes them for all they're worth. Now, we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe for Eagle stuff, daily football stuff, every day, every Eagles live stream. We don't miss anything. It's going to get pretty crazy around here. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you know the deal. Just double check. Double moonwalk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, before we get into the Jason Peters situation, I want to talk about the Eagles, their practice squad. Uh, it's been finalized. At least the initial practice squad has been. And I kind of wanted to go over it. I talked a little bit about it, some of the guys in my last video. But now that it's set, I wanted to kind of go over the name. So here's the practice squad for the Eagles. Wide receiver, Devin Allen, that was a must that he comes back. That was a must. Um, guard tackle, Coyote Awusika. Don't know if I'm saying his name right. I apologize. Uh, Kennedy Brooks. I really like this one, and uh, we're going to get into why in a, in a second. Wide receiver, Deion Kane. I thought he outperformed Jalen Rager. I'm glad he's back. Safety, Andre Chachachera. Uh, really like this kid. I thought he outperformed Kevon Wallace, and he deserved to be there. Uh, tackle the Raven Clark. Uh, I think you need another tackle for depth. Like that move. Wide receiver Britton Covey. Um, really didn't see much from him. My thoughts on him is, you know, hopefully maybe he could develop into a return specialist because that is one of the issues that I have with this team and where we're at right now. Linebacker Christian Ellis. Okay, that's an interesting one. Cornerback Mario Goodrich. Safety Anthony Harris, which was a nice surprise. Defensive end Matt Leo. Quarterback Chinstrap, otherwise known as Reed Sinet. Tight end Noah Tagai. Center Cameron Tom. And defensive tackle Marvin Wilson. So, pretty interesting practice squad. Um, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm pretty happy with it. You, you, you got all the guys that I didn't really want to go back. Okay, no, we didn't lose... Devin Allen or anybody like that. So I'm very, very happy about that. I thought that was pretty cool. The one thing that was kind of a little bit of surprise was the Eagles waved Davion Taylor yesterday. They cut him, and uh, he, he is gone. Now, maybe he clears waivers, and, and they have plans to bring him back. I guess that's possible. But Davion Taylor leaves, and let's, let's face it. It was a very, very crowded, very crowded uh, linebacker room, so it, it, it is what it is, um, you know, it, it, it's been disappointing, the guy has a lot of athletic ability, he's got a lot of talent, he's got to stay healthy, and, and, and he's got to take that next step, so it, it is what it is, um, now, let's, let's jump into this Dallas Cowboy thing, right, because uh, I saw Mark Holmes had a video, oh, Eagle fans are laughing at us, but those who laugh first may not laugh last, whatever the hell he's saying, Mike Landry wears the fitness, He's sleeping, he's waking up, what, 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 what? The brother screwed us, Michael. The brother screwed us. It's going to happen again. Cowboys and Mark Holmes especially, they're already in blame ref mode. You can already see it coming. They're already in blame ref modes. But I got to tell you, I blame the Cowboys for the Eagles all season. Because it seemed like, you know, we lost to Tampa Bay and it was miserable and it was sad and we were horrible. Then the next day to watch the Cowboys lose in the playoffs... And to lose the way they did in total choke fashion, choke season, it was it just it was it brought such a smile to my face. Every day since then has been great. What can I say? Every day since then for the Eagles have been great. And I think it's gonna continue. Now get this. Cowboys are desperate for offensive alignment. They're desperate for offensive alignment. Uh, and instead of having a front office like the Eagles that go out and 
and make things happen, figure out trades and do that. Cowboys don't want to touch it. It's hard to negotiate when you're 821 years old. The Jerry Jones' birthday is today, 821. Guy's been around a long time. All right, He's starting to grow like third, third heads and uh, other different parts. Because really, if humans live like as long as he does, they look like they look like they, they may not be humans because their heads are growing, forming in all can, weird ways. That's why his nose is all whacked out looking, and that's why when he gets excited, instead of kissing his wife, he goes and he kisses his son on the lips. Disgusting, but it is what it is. Now they don't do what the Eagles do. We got a GM who goes out. He runs. He's running circles around the Cowboys. Well, our front office gets so many things done by like nine in the morning. Dallas is just waking up. That's really the way it is. I love what I love how I'm starting to love Howie Roseman. Even if he ain't right, just take the draft away from him. I'm good to go. Because he runs circles around these people. We need something, you go get it. You gotta get rid of Rager, you go do it. I love it. Now, here's the thing, you guys have probably heard this. Uh, ex offensive lineman Jason Peters to visit Dallas after Tyron Smith's injury. He's scheduled to visit. Most likely they're gonna sign him. My guess is they sign him. He's 40 years old. When he's on the field, he's good. But the problem is, is you're going to lose him about every other quarter. He's always going to be something. He's coming out. He's not going to finish the game. You better be ready for that, Dallas. You better be ready for it. And I am going to be laughing my butt off when it happens. I hope he signs a contract, takes Dallas for every penny he can, and then comes out in one quarter, out the next quarter, maybe out the third quarter, in the fourth quarter for a play, and comes back out. That it's been like that for, for a few years. I think Dallas should have been a lot more aggressive, should have found a trade partner. I mean, here's a team that's supposed to be competing for a Super Bowl. They're trying to win a Super Bowl. Yet, when they need that one extra piece, it looks like they don't go get it. There's nothing more annoying. We made that mistake back in the early 2000s when we went to three straight NFC Championship game. It was clear we needed a wide receiver. And we just didn't want to take the extra step to get him until we lost two NFC Championships in a row. And then we did it. And that was Terrell Owens. And we really lost out on Terrell Owens. He just was so stubborn. And he fought his way to Philly. Um, Dallas is supposed to be trying to win now. But... They don't seem like they go all in. That's why I think they take a couple steps back this year. Look at the offensive weapons that they lost this year. Now they're losing offensive linemen. They ain't going to have Dak's, pre Dak, Dak's contract come at some point. Uh, I think I think Dallas, I think, I think you're on the clock, Cowboys. I think you're on the clock. Us Eagles, we're good to go. Do you know we the Eagles have like one of the youngest rosters in the league? I think it's like just... just over 25 years old, like just over 25 years old is our average age. We haven't been that young since 2013. Our starters average at age of 26 years old. We are a young team up and coming, and we have a GM in a front office that will say, we need this, let's go get it. We need this, let's go get it. I, I'm really, you know, I, I know people think, oh, he's just, there he goes, bust out the Cowboys. I'm dead serious. If I was a Cowboy fan, I'd be kind of irked a little bit. Because here you have Dak Prescott. Goes out and throws 37 touchdowns last year, whatever it was. I'm, as an Eagle fan, I bust on the Cowboys a lot. And I bust, you know, I like to break balls. But truth is, I think Dak Prescott's a really good quarterback. He's a really good quarterback. He, then he loses multiple weapons. Now he's moving, losing multiple offensive linemen. How many years do you think he has to keep making it on? How big do you think your window is? Because I see the Cowboys' window closing. I see the Eagles' window opening. So I, I'm just so happy. And I think a lot of Eagle fans feel like that this morning. We're happy that, that, that we got an owner and a front office that makes shit happen. You know what I mean? We don't know how and what it's going to be. But they find a way. And they, they do this constantly. That's why I say this. I ain't firing Howie. I, he can stay forever at this point. And this is an apology. I'm not ready to do that yet. But at least every all season with him is action-packed filled, man. It really is. I love it. I absolutely, as a content creator on YouTube, talking my crap, I love it. Mark Holmes is sitting there losing sleep. You know, Mark's defense is this. Well, we're going to sacrifice a lot of chickens because the chicken wings price has gone down. All right, go sacrifice your chickens. We're going to go make moves. We're going to go make it happen now. You know, I mean, Mark, we got, we got, we got, we got Howie. He's like Napoleon with a uh, pencil protector. You, can, you know, the guy's, guy's, 
Look at what he did in Minnesota. He ran circles around him. Look what he did with Seattle. He ran circles around him. Look what he did with Tennessee. He ran circles around him. You know? So you sign Jason Peters. We'll send him his cane, his walker. And uh, you go out there and you sign him. <laughs> and, and, and see what I'm talking about. Every other quarter he's out. Just mark my words. If the Cowboys sign him, it's going to drive them nuts. It's going to drive them nuts. Now, I'll say this. There is, there is a concern that I do have with the Eagles right now, okay? I'll tell you my biggest concern. My biggest concern is this running back spot because I still think the Eagles need to add a running back. Now, I don't know if they're going to, but Miles Sanders is still not practicing. So, depending upon how hurt Miles Sanders is, I think it's an issue. I think it's a problem because if he can't go, that leaves you with only two running backs. I guess you could bring up Kennedy Brooks. He's never played a snap. Um, I, I still think that there, there could be something with a running back coming down the road for the Eagles. I mean, we'll see. I can tell you this. The Eagles are going to be pretty good. All right? They're going to be pretty good. And, you know, I, I, I did one of uh, my fantasy drafts last night, right? Well, I was trying to do it. I was I was, I was, I was out working. I was, I was in a meeting, and I was under the desk trying to look at my phone like this. And I'm like, my eyes are going bad. I didn't even – I couldn't read what the bye week said. Didn't go perfect. There was a couple of things where I had to just rush. I couldn't really look. But I took Jalen Hurts as my quarterback. I also got Joe Burrow. But I took Hurts as my quarterback. You know why I took Hurts? Because I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I believe Jalen Hurts is going to have a good year. I believe the Eagles are going to have a good year. And I believe when the time comes, the Eagles are going to be making moves at the trade deadline while the Cowboy fans look in envy. That's what's going to happen. We're going to have to fix the running back situation. No doubt about it. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. And remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. And it's good. Everything that I'm hearing, everything that I'm hearing from Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Sometimes I want to say Charlie Gardner. Charlie Gardner. Remember Charlie Gardner? Love Charlie Gardner. Thunder and lightning, him and Ricky Waters. But um, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, by all accounts so far, was built for Philly. His attitude, the way he plays, I think he's going to be a fan favorite. I think that he gives us a swagger we haven't had in a long time. I'm talking about like... Andre Waters, Wes Hopkins time. This is going to be a fantastic year. Week one can't come soon enough. With that said, Denzel Washington out.